Good morning, I'm Polarized Moon, and welcome back to, uh, welcome back to RuneScape. So, we are again fighting Agath Nar, and I'm gonna try not to die this time. We'll see how it goes. I got a little bit of armor, and I, I just pickpocketed a bunch of enemies. I, we'll see how it goes. I now have a little bit, we'll see, we'll see how this goes. So I have to avoid that big strike thing that he does. Yeah, so I need to avoid this. Yeah, so he'll just... Oh, did I actually avoid the, the big attack? Oh wait, did I... Oh, he's... Okay, he's healing them. Ah, okay, so they're dying, and he's gaining their health. I see. I understand how this works. I, you know what, I should put this here. So I can heal up. Okay, there we go. All right, hopefully this is better. Does he have any more tricks up his sleeve? All right, let's get like a handful of big shots on him here. Nope. Go, 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 run, run, run. Okay, cool. So I just have to avoid that attack and I think I should be generally fine. Yeah, here we go, we got him. Fantastic. Silverlight drenched with Agath Nar foul smelling ichor. Great. Uh, you try to wipe Silverlight clean, but Agath Nar's blood has fused with the blade. You heft the sword and sense it has become more powerful. I have slain the demon and have a new sword. Dark light. Time to head back to Eris to get my reward. Fantastic. The dark light. Awesome. Okay, so that worked out. That worked out a little bit better than I was expecting. Um, yeah, but it seems like the majority of the best things that I can get here come from just randomly killing or pickpocketing zombies. Because they literally have kind of just everything. Um, Alright. I now have the Silverlight, and we killed the demon. Delvereth has been banished, Agathnar defeated, and Evil Dave has a good telling off. I think the area of town is safe once more. On reflection, Delrith wasn't causing any trouble, and the strange weather was mostly contained to the demon camp, but good job. Thanks, I think. Yay! Uh, three quest points. Wow, okay, cool. 300 Zemma marks, dark light sword, access to limited ingredients for strength potions in the demon camp. Okay, cool. So we have one of the, one of the, the quests done here. Yes. And... Yes. There we go. Okay. I think every time I walk by one of the, uh... And we're just gonna pickpocket one of the- one of these every time I walk by. And then sell anything that I don't particularly need. Um... Sell that. Sell these. And I think I can sell the robes now, too. So I can get rid of those. Uh, if I need them back, I can get them back. Okay, cool. I did get some iron from pickpocketing some of these too, so that's generally good. I want to, I want to investigate the, uh, the palace, I guess. Maybe the other cat is in the palace. Maybe, I don't, I don't know. This reminds me of the, um, oh, I think it is. The fortress, uh, the... Captain Roven. Guarding the stairs to the next level. Enter the red barrier. There's a lot of stuff. Bastard Fernook. Okay, it looks like there's two quests in here. To start. Reldo. Um, this looks like the Slayer Tower. That's the word I was looking for. Orange barrier. Uh, okay. Hey, Reldo. Welcome to the new Varrock Library. Wait, you're alive. I mean, you're a living, breathing human. Thought I was the only one. 
Sir Morgal kept me alive to research various tidbits, mostly to find out more about the Shield of Arav. I have given him a few morsels of information about the shield, but I've kept one piece back. Want to know more? Accept quest. So here's the thing. Sir Morgal wants to unlock the full power of the shield. It's staggeringly powerful, and that power could only allow him to stretch his empire further. But I found something out. The shield can only be unlocked by a single bloodline. The bloodline of our first king. I believe someone in Varrock shares that bloodline. Someone who can use the shield to dethrone Zamorgal. With a few mo months of research, I, I, I'll know who it is. Uh, do you mean Dementheus? Dementheus, you think? If it is Dementheus, our planet is scuppered. Dementheus is eaten alive and the rat pits overflowed. It's not even an arm left to attach the shield. I wonder. You know, that option's too ludicrous. Might, we may as well give up. What is it? Arav. He once wielded the shield of Arav to fend off Zamorgal. Shield of Rav, after all, that's the clue in the name. Arav's still around, undead, and controlled by Zamorgal, working for Elamaria with his heart locked in a vault. There's no way he can help. We can get to him. How difficult can it be to remove control from him? Pretty darn difficult, but I like your chutzpah. Go talk to Arav in the main hall of the palace and see if he's interested in this folly. Fantastic. Hey, Arav. I'm pretty sure I can't talk right now. Quit your gas bagging. These weeds won't prune themselves. Lord Zamorgal has commanded that I help Queen Elamaria to create her garden. But any old garden, you sure this cretin? This garden of hostility. I have plenty of the your queen wants me to do. Seeds to gather from various locations, statues to push. Lord Zamorgal commands I do, and I must obey. Would you be willing to bring down Zamorgal? And what if I would, could remove Zamorgal's hold over you? Would you be willing to bring down Zamorgal? Ha, huh, bring down Zamorgal. <laughs> Possible. The prophecy states I will be out forever under this Morgoth's control. Got a prophecy for you. The planet's aligned low and a giant oaf lost his backside and did some work. Seems Rav would be interested in bringing Zamorgal down. Okay, cool. We're making more progress. I still haven't found the other cat, though. Hey, Reldo. I talked to Rav. He wants to liberate Varrock, but Zamorgal has control of every action he makes. It's as we thought. Then still, there's hope. Mind control is a very powerful spell, a kind of magic that requires Zamorgal's 100% attention. Yet Zamorgal managed to eat, drink, torture, and quarrel with his gargoyle pet. Magic must come from an artifact, then. The artifacts can be destroyed. Look around the library for more information. Zamorgal is a hoarder, and he keeps all sorts of information here. There might be notes on the artifact. Okay, so I have to randomly search around. <laughs> oh my god. You take a look from the table and it's against the spine. It's the novel tie-in for Zamorgal the movie. Oh my god. <laughs> they have movies here? Random book from the table. I'll read the title. Zamorgal's Dictionary. It goes from Z to A. Search lectern. Zamorgal's Memoirs. Seem to be retconning a lot of Gilinor's history. Apparently Zamorgal stabbed Lornab with the staff of Zamorgal. <laughs> Coloring book of zombies, skeletons, and the like. That's... that's hilarious. This is Varrock Census, with virtually every name scribbled out. Someone has taken the time to write ha-ha repeatedly in the margins. Take a book from the shelf, The Wind in the Gallows. The Wind, <laughs> wind in the Willows? That's hilarious. Uh, Skullball Almanac from the year 175 of the Fifth Age. That's in the future. That's a Back to the Future reference. That's... That's hilarious. Matters of the Heart. An eerily familiar title. So, Regal's Memoirs. Retconning. Okay, so that's the same as that one. Do these have anything in just on them? Dictionary. Oh, so these are... Look like there's, uh, repeated... 100 Fun Things to Do With Your Partially Severed Arms by Cliff Windmills. <laughs> Making Decomposition Work For You, an Undead Style Bible. Oh, this is hilarious. The Joy of Hex. Interesting. Oh, are they the f same front and back? The Wind and the Gallows. No, these are different. My Favorite Pedestals by Sharthrak, a gargoyle. <laughs> okay. The soul of Arav is more troublesome than I originally thought. If I move him too far from my base, I can feel him fighting against my will. I must find a way to strengthen my hold over him to subjugate him further. Else it would be better to destroy him and be done with it. I've been working on it. Um... Found what it needs. Volcano, rare black mineral called obsidian. 
We've we've read this already. The story of the Devil of Fates of Heroes. The prism is very fragile, however. Found us for, yeah, we've we've read that before. Found a document called Matters of the Heart. Interesting. It describes that Sahar style of Sudian prison and prism and strengthens Ramorgal's hold of Aurora. Ramorgal keeps his most precious artifacts in his treasure room. In the first floor of the palace. It should be in there. Get inside and smash the prism. I would help, but well, we librarians aren't known for our adventuring prowess, sorry. If the artifact's what I think it is, I probably have some experience with this black prism. It's probably a decoder door, knowing, Z knowing Zygmorgal. Morgal only allows zombies upstairs, which is just as well. They're terrible at climbing them. Uh, Thalassia the seamstress has experience in making costumes. You should go see her in her shop. Okay, so that's what the zombie costumes are for. Okay. I didn't realize that there would be quests, like, in the castle to go do. What other... Uh, let me check the book and see what else other things we've got here. Use more of the scrying pool. Smith or craft a piece of level 10 armor. Um, level 10 armor. Which one is level... Is that... That's not... That's iron? I, I can do that. Uh, let's see. It's not bronze, is it? Iron, yeah, okay. Well, I can I can just go make a... I could, I could go right now and make a pair of boots or something. Yeah, let's do that. Um, armored boots. There we go. We'll, we'll make some boots real quick. That'll also, uh, up my, up my health just a little, or up, up my defense just a little bit. Iron armored boots. Wear those. There we go. Oh, does that not count? Did that seriously not count? Oh my god. I'm, I'm really sad at that. All right, well, I guess the, the, the boots don't count towards armor. <sighs> Great. But I do have enough to buy these. Buy, 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 and buy. There we go. Fantastic. Only the zombies are allowed upstairs, of which I am one of the zombies. New Varrock guards. They like to uh, stagger a little bit when I get nearby. So what's in this room over here? There's stuff on the... Oh, we've got like vials and... Okay. So what's in that room over there? <clears throat> Um, a jug. All right, a jug and another vial. Cool. I don't don't particularly need those. All right. So climb up staircase. Armored zombie. Ooh. If I can take you down, maybe I can get some better loot from you guys. Get some maybe better armor or something. Collect red mist. Okay, interesting. That's not what I was expecting to need to do there. How many vials do I need? I, I guess I'll just take all the vials. I don't know what I need that red mist for, so we'll find out, I guess. That was uh, not what I was expecting to happen there, to be honest. All right, let's take down another one and see what happens. Vault outer door. Zamora Gal on ice, embers of war, memories of the Ferenske. Vial of red mist. Okay, I don't know what I, that is. Um, let's see. What else do we have here? The Morgal's bed. Peer over the railing and eavesdrop on the throne room below. Samorgal, I've been talking with the zombies and we, uh, 
We wanted to ask you about something. The magical mist you got us to swallow is corroding our insides. It, uh, also escapes at awkward times. Perhaps we could use keys or switches or levers to unlock doors like other bad guys. Nonsense. The mist is no noticeable side effects. It's a foolproof security system. If the zombies want to go through the doors of my new palace, they need to shut up and gas up. Ah, so that's how I get through the red door with the red mist. I understand. Purple. So the red mist gets us through the red barrier. I understand. Human detection spell? What? <laughs> Solomon in a bottle. <laughs> ah, black prism. Okay, cool. It's very familiar. If I remember rightly, you need a four-letter code and some decoder strips. All right. So let's go. Oh, I can scry in the scrying pool. New Varrock Square. Oh, you're done with all your chores, tiny Zamorgan. Well, there's no pudding for you. Pudding is my destiny. Smacking is your destiny if you're not careful. Oh, the scrying game. Is that one of the... I guess that's one of the things. Demon camp. You feel Darius camp. You're evil and you know it. Clap your hands. <laughs> Oh my god, that's hilarious. The graveyard. I need a scrap of flesh. I'm so full. Not me, I'm still ravenous. <laughs> ravenous, you've always been a joker. That's hilarious. Ceredominus Church. Ceredomin said unto the congregated before him, The land shall be inherited by the asleep and the ignorant. And thus did the congregation fall asleep and ignore him. Uh, throne room balcony. Wait, someone's watching me. It's me, Zamargal. I'm watching you. Good point, as you were. And the Garden of Hostility? When a man's an empty kettle, he should be on his metal. And yet I'm torn apart, just because I'm presuming that I could only be a human if I only had a heart. Oh! I, I got it at the very end there. Uh... If I only had a brain. Uh, connection failed. Head not found. Return to mechanical entity and try again. Control the tin soldier. Scrying notes. You are now in possession of your very own scrying pool. Generation 3 model. Blacklit. Backlit and hands free. Congratulations. The scrying pool can be connected via blue fang technology and magically infused states. Statues. Allowing the user to view third parties at a convenient distance. Generation 3 model also allows user control and interface with mechanical means. This feature makes the scrying pool particularly brilliant at completing quests. Mrs. Golem. Stuffed wise old man. Oh my god. <laughs> that is hilarious. This is Morgal's mega stash. Really does have bank. Oh, he's got all of the rare items. Oh! If only could use animate. Oh, wow. Okay, he's literally just got like all the godsword cabinet. Why no key? So cruel, Zamorgal. Okay. So it looks like that's all I can do here. So how do I get the other colors of. How do I get the other colors? Do I have to just kill- Do I have to keep killing them until I find one that has the right color? Examine him somewhere else. He's got a teddy bear. I wonder what Majarit dream of. So I need at least purple- What? Purple and... Orange? Red mist. Are, are there other colors of mist that I need here? Well, I gotta kill a bunch of them all at once. That'll help. Uh, red mist. 
red mist and red mist. Hmm. No, that doesn't seem to be changing anything. Need a key to open this locked door. All right. Is there more up? Can I go? No, oh, climb down. Oh, can I get into his bedroom? Oh, purple barrier. That's right. Okay. Oh, there's, um... I can go over here. Let's go through this barrier here. All right, we're making some kind of progress. Oh my god, those are heads. Oh, it's the heads of... Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, one of those is dead now. Well, I mean, they're all dead here. But one of those is dead elsewhere. Deface memory. Okay, so... It, ah! Lab desk. Okay, so I need to go in here and repair this... Uh... Inspect the tin soldier. Tin soldier's in a pretty bad state. I reckon he's a head three lumps of tin to be superheated into the chassis. Ah, okay, so I need to get tin. Alright, so I can get that from the I can get that from the zombies outside. Alright. Um So that's my next goal, it looks like. There are other doors downstairs that I can go check out, so let's go do that. I don't know how I'm gonna get orange and... Yeah, here we go. Let's check out this room. Ambassador Furnuk. Dwellberries. I don't see a reason to take them right now. Is there anything else in here that I can... No? Okay. I guess the dwell dwellberries... Are just there. Okay, so I can't go. Can't go through here. All right, so it looks like I need to go get. Um, I need to go get some tin. Uh, let's see. Three tin ore, four fire runes, and a nature rune to repair it. Yeah, okay. So, let's pickpocket. I'm pretty sure I can get all of that stuff from these. We will we will see how it goes. Nope. 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 There's some fire runes. Okay, cool. Is this the best way to- is this the best way to collect all this stuff? I- I don't actually know. There might be a better way. Let's, uh... So- oh wait, no, we sell from here. So that, so this, so these. I want to keep the fire rune. Uh, I can sell these, sell that, sell the gloves. Oh no, I should have kept the gloves. Oh well. I can I can make more I can get more gloves. That's not a problem. Okay, fire rune. Let's pickpocket some more zombies. As far as I can tell, this is the only way to get tin. I mean there might be there I don't think there's a mine inside the city here. I mean normally the mine places where I could get tin would be, like, right outside the city, but I obviously can't... I obviously can't go fight them, or fight... I can't go there. Oh, there's some iron. Okay. Let's keep that iron, because I'm gonna want that for the other quest thing. Some zombie cowhide. I did learn that the blood runes are pretty expensive. Leather cowl. All right, let's sell some more of this. I wonder if they just replaced all of the clothing with like dead zombies. That that's pretty funny if that's how that works. All right, let's sell this, sell this, sell that. Yeah, these are worth quite a bit, so that's nice. 
All right. There's also a... Oh, why do I have... Why is the... The bank... What's... Why is this highlighted on the map? Skeleton clerk. Why, why is this on the... Mm, what's going on with this? Gains... Maybe the an trial announcer? Hello! Yo there! Loyal thrall to Zorgal. How can I help you? Uh, can I have a tin soldier head? I want the decapitated head of a robot warrior. Why? Uh, I'd like to get a head on the competition. Sorry, yes. Go take it and leave, please. Oh, okay. That's what. I, okay, do I actually need the other things now? Tin soldier head, three tin, and four fire runes and a nature rune. Okay, I might as well just buy. No, actually. We will we will continue to pickpocket the zombies until we get the tin that I need. And if I manage to get some runes along the way, that's fine. Um if I manage to get the rune but then I can go buy the runes from uh I can go buy the runes from the shop. But as far as I can tell, I don't Oh, does Wait, maybe, hold on. Maybe I can buy, let me, let me clear up my inventory here. Maybe I can buy stuff from, from over here. I, I don't know. Oh, I closed the door now. Okay, here we go. Let's get rid of this and those and those and these. Okay. Um, so, let's see, there's a guy over here, maybe I can trade, yeah, trade with you, what do you have? <gasps> yes, there we go, I need three tin, was it? Three tin, yeah, okay, let's also buy a bunch of that. So we are going to, we're going to make some iron. Yeah, here we go. This is what we're going to do. We're going to make some iron and then I'm going to, I'm just going to make a full iron set. Uh, because that's probably the best thing to do here. Um, iron bar, iron plate body. There we go. Actually, I can do that in between episodes. Um, yeah, I will, I will work on that in between episodes so we don't have to worry about, or you don't have to worry about, uh, watching me do this for so long. I will, I'll do this one just because I've already started, but from here on out, the rest of them will be, I'll do them in between. Uh, cause it seems like iron might be the highest level armor we can get here. Uh, that's probably what it is. I will probably replace my other, replace my other sword with a, with an iron, uh, offhand longsword. We'll see how it goes. We are just about done. I don't need to worry about, it'll take longer to go over there and heat it than it will to just do it. And done. There's that. Uh, cool. And I can now sell that one. Yeah, so I'll work on I'll work on that off camera, uh, just in between episodes, and then I will trade with you. Sell the this one. Let's go get those. Uh, let's go get that. Um, this over here, because I this is where I can get the uh, I can get the other thing that I need. Just the one the one rune over here. Here we go. Let's trade and buy one nature rune. So that's everything I need for that. Oh, I got 20 fire runes. Cool. Um, you're a little short for a wizard. 
Is that a Star Wars reference? There's a lot of there's a lot of random references in this quest. All right, let's go fix this robot. I still want to figure out how to get the other colors of mist. I'm not maybe I have to kill one of the guards for that. I don't know if I have enough uh I don't know if I have enough anything to kill one of the guards just yet. Um the level 90 ones. Maybe maybe the higher leveled guards have the higher the different Oh, that is a cool Did did Zamorgel also make the the Slayer Tower? Replace this the head. Snap solidly into place. Now to repair the damage. Reckon only three lumps of tin ore superheated directly out of the torso. Uh, use tin ore on the tin soldier. Finished and should work. Fantastic. So now I can operate. Oh wait, do I have to unstrap it from this first? Inspect. Uh, empty a vial of red mist. Oh. Oh, wait. Now I can't pass through the barrier, though. Oh, wait. Can I just pass through now without needing it? Hold on. Is, is that... Uh... Is that how this works? Okay, yeah. So I need to go get... An, I need to get another vial. There we go. Let's just take out another one. I could probably just put the, the plate body on. There we go. Got the red mist. Let's go activate this robot. And then he'll get whatever's in this other... This other place here. There we go. And control the tin soldier. Fantastic. Enter the red barrier. Enter human detection spell. All right. Let's search the lab desk. It doesn't seem to be anything else that I can do in here. Small card between the pages of the book. The card seems to have been placed on the bookmark. Four letters have been printed on DGHI. DGHI. Key for... I've encountered a key, code key like that before. I used it alongside decoder strips to crack the code for the vault. DGHI? I'm going to write that down. I don't know if I immediately need that. Um, but I am going to write it down. I can write it down. Uh, DGHI. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if I need that. I don't know if I'm going to... Yeah. I'm going to need that, but I don't know if I need to remember it um so where am i gonna get the strips from that's the next question oh i'm gonna get more information that's why my lord are you sure the black prism is in your treasure room is safe it's only blocked by red mist and any armored zombie might be able to enter <sighs> Don't worry. The only thing I care about is hidden aside, inside the treasure room safe. You need a code key and decoder strips to get through. Um, should we talk about this on a large open room with a balcony? Pah! The code's safe in my laboratory. Beyond a human detection spell, no creature of flesh could pass. So we're revealing everything. What happened on that tin soldier you were experimenting on? Oh, I left it in the storeroom. It exploded last time I tried remote control on it, you know. Using the scrying pool in the treasure room. We should give it a go. Written some notes in a book next to the scrying pool. It's great fun. <laughs> this Samora gal seems to be a little bit more goofy. Oh, did th did that happen because I clicked on it? Oh, this is the same. Okay, all right. So now what? I can't enter the purple mist. Hmm. How do I... Uh, how do I change the color of the mist? I don't have the key for that. 
Oh, decoder strips. There's literally a crate of decoder strips right there. I am dumb. Alright, let's uh let's go use that over here. Smash the smash the thing. Alright. Here we go. Unlock the treasure room safe. Okay, so D... G... H... I. Uh... Four... Three... Nope. One, nine. Door unlatches. Smash the black prism. Oh, I have to enter the safe. And then smash the prism. There we go. Take that black prism. The Morgal's control of Arav should be gone. Fantastic. I no longer need those numbers. I probably didn't need it to begin with because I would have... I, I doubt I would have forgotten them. I didn't need to write it down. But you never know just in case. So I left it <laughs> left it as it was. Uh, I can destroy these now, I think. Uh, yeah, I can always get more if I need them. All right. We have... Uh, I still need to get the shield, don't I? I mean, we've got the, we've got the knight. Oh, that's right. There's, there's extenuating circumstances for which we need... We needed him for to get the shield in the first place. What did you do? I feel different. I feel free. Zamorgal's black prism has been smashed. He doesn't control you anymore. What can it be? Oi, quit it. Get back to work, you big muscle-bound coat hanger. Make up your mind, Elamaria. Should I quit it or get back to work? Personally, I'm leaning towards quitting it. Don't you dare, Zamorigal. Why aren't you stopping him? Zamorigal! Ha! A banshee whose voice can't be heard. I'll be taking this garden now, Ella Mar Maria. You better leave. Ah, that felt fantastic. But if we only fight Zamorigal, we need to retrieve my heart. Only then will I be truly free. But that's for another day. Right now, you saved me from an unlife of moving statues and finding ridiculous plants. Delphinium uh... And more importantly, you gave me hope. You can give me hope you can do the same for New Verak. Return to me once you have helped the other people in New Verak. Complete their quests. Give them peace. We'll send Zamorigal packing. When I say packing, I mean kill him with swords. <laughs> oh, the Defender of Verak. Oh, jeez, we got a lot of stuff. Um, let's combat lamp. Uh, thieving lamp. Cool. Magic lamp. I'm gonna take this watering can. I probably need it. Let's rake the delphinium patch. I probably need to do that. Uh, plant. Okay, I don't have the plant for that. Alright, let's, uh, do that. And do this. Watering can eight. Okay. <clears throat> so we are... We're doing good. I still haven't found the other cat yet. Unless I absolutely just missed it somewhere. Meow. Um, where is the other cat? I didn't... Yeah, I've only got three of them. Huh. I had to- I had to have seen it somewhere and, and completely missed it, right? Like... Well, let's check up the build- let's check upstairs here. Because they could always just be up in a- up- upstairs somewhere. I'll have to check all those other places. Um... Oh, there's something up over there. Hmm. There's also something up in the... Hold on. Let's- let's check up here. Oh, how do I get up? Can I even get up the stairs here? Oh, there is- there is a ladder. Okay, cool. 
Uh, take the spade and a knife. Okay, do I need those for something? So what's what's over here? There's a phoenix over there. Okay, that's weird. All right, well, either way, that's about the time I've got for this episode. Like and subscribe if you liked the episode. Ring that bell if you'd like to see more. Good night, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye!